Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Country Gravy. And in case you don't know, this is a milk-based gravy thickened with a roux made from the rendered fat of meat scraps. I know, I make it sound good, don't I? And why is it called Country Gravy? Because people that live in cities are too smart to eat it. It's okay, I'm from the country. Anyway, there's lots of variations and this is my favorite. So here we go. I'm gonna take some fresh breakfast sausage links. I got four of those. And some strips of regular smoked bacon. All right, so we're gonna take the casing off the sausage and we're simply gonna slice the bacon in like half inch pieces. So once your meat is prepped, we're gonna take a skillet with some melted butter over medium heat. We're gonna add our meat in. Now normally I would do this in a saucepan, but I wanted to film it in a wider pan so you could see what was happening. So feel free to do this in a saucepan. So anyway, over medium heat, we're gonna cook this. As it cooks, we're gonna break the sausage up in small, small pieces. The smaller, the better. And we're gonna keep cooking that until the bacon almost, almost gets crisp. Just keep stirring it, breaking it up, stirring it, breaking it up. Keep an eye on it, but it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. While your meat's browning, we can go ahead and chop up about a half a cup of green onions, but we're just gonna use the light parts, the white parts. You can save the tops if you want for some garnish. All right, I'm gonna add the onions to the pan. My meat is not quite cooked enough yet, but it's fine to throw the onions in, no problem. So we're gonna cook that until it basically looks like that. You can see the bacon's browned, but it's not quite crispy yet. At that point, we're gonna sprinkle in our flour. There's gonna be plenty of fat in that pan to make the roux with. So we're just gonna sprinkle in enough flour to make kind of a pasty mixture. See that? It's kind of what you're looking for. So we're gonna cook that stirring for about two or three minutes to take the raw edge off the flour. So at that point, we're gonna to start to add our milk. We'll start off with about a cup. We'll stir that in and then we'll add the rest in two more additions. And you really don't have to be too fine with this. As long as your milk is cold and your roux is hot, you're in great shape. So stir it in, it'll start to thicken up pretty quickly. Pour in a little more milk, stir it in. Once that's in, pour the rest of the milk in. Stir it in and you're done. As soon as all the milk's in, go ahead and turn it up to medium high because we need to bring this up to a simmer. And while that's coming up to a simmer, we're gonna add a little seasoning some cayenne, some freshly ground black pepper, and a good amount of it, and a big pinch of salt. Of course, we're gonna taste and adjust that later. All right, so we'll stir that in. Now, like any flour-based sauces, as soon as it comes to a boil, that's basically as thick as it's gonna get. All right, so that's how you're gonna judge this. I wanna simmer this for about 10, 15 minutes so all these flavors meld together. So as soon as it comes up to a simmer, you can lower your heat back down to medium low, keep stirring, and cook it for about 10 minutes. And you should be looking at one beautiful, and of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, one beautiful country gravy. So that's the perfect texture right there. All right, you want this to be very, very thick. You see that? If it's too thick, stir a little more milk in. If it's too thin, let it cook down a little bit, no problem. That's all there is to it, it's so simple. And this goes on so many things, fried chicken, country fried steak, but the classic, of course, is biscuits. So I have some buttermilk biscuits. I'm gonna split that open. I'm gonna pour over that amazing, amazing country gravy. Just a beautiful, beautiful example of classic, old school, very old school American country cooking. I'm gonna make it prettier with a little bit of green onion and cayenne, and there you go. Now, if you've had this before, right about now you're thinking, damn, that looks good. I would love to get into some of that. If you've never had it before, however, you're thinking, that may be the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Are you sure that's gonna taste good? I am sure. So yes, it's not the most beautiful thing to look at, but once you taste it, you won't care. You won't care at all. That breakfast sausage really gives it its signature flavor. Of course, that smoky bacon doesn't hurt. That stick to your ribs goodness from the milk and the roux. So anyway, I hope you give this a try. All the ingredient amounts are on foodwishes.com, of course. And as always, enjoy 